Thanks for joining us. I'm Gabe with Backwoods Pursuit. Today we're going to do an Exped Comfort sleeping bag review. This here is the 23 degree Exped Comfort sleeping bag. We're going to go over its features, uh, its sizing, uh, some of the different options that you get with this Exped Comfort sleeping bag. And I'm going to give you some information as far as how it performed for me in my testing in the various uh, temperatures that I was able to test this in. So stick around if they do that. It's a really awesome sleeping bag. It's really a nice uh, well cut sleeping bag that's going to give you a lot of extra room to move around. So if that's your kind of sleeping bag, you definitely want to stick around and check this one out. As always, we really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button for us. Follow us on our Facebook and Instagram accounts as well, Backwoods Pursuit, and check out our website, backwoodspursuit.com. We've got a full review on this sleeping bag as far as how it performed for us in our testing and for this review, as well as a bunch of other uh, sleeping bag and gear reviews, so go check that out, backwoodspursuit.com. I'll put a link to this down in the description for you so you can check it out for yourself if you'd like. Let's go get started. So let's go over some of the specs on the Exped Comfort Bag here to start. On the outside here of the shell, you've got a 20 denier ripstop nylon, and on the inside you have a 30 denier nylon as well. You've got a 700 down RDS certified uh, duck down here in this bag, and you can get this in a right or left zip as far as the zipper. The reason that that's important is that if you, uh, one of the features that is offered by this Comfort Bag is that you can zip two together, so if you want to uh, have you and your spouse or your significant other get one, uh, you can zip them together uh, and, and make one larger bag. So that's a, a really cool feature of these comfort bags. Um, the, this is an extra wide mummy cut. As you can see, it's very wide at the shoulders and does taper down some, but it does give you a lot of room to move around. As far as the dimensions, you've got 35 inches in the width here and just over 21 inches in the foot box. Uh, and so you've got Again, a nice sized mummy bag here, an oversized mummy bag to, to give you a lot of, of comfort that way. And then you do have a very large foot box that's overstuffed down, extra down in the foot box here. And as you can see, you've got just a, a lot of extra room there to make sure that your feet aren't poking into the top of that bag and making, uh, giving you some cold feet. Another cool feature here is the pull tab on the zipper is glow in the dark. It's obviously useful if it's the middle of the night, you don't have your flashlight handy. You can find that real easily and uh, get out of the bag if you need to. Now the sizes offered in the comfort bag here are medium, large, and XL. Medium fits up to 5'10 and a half, 5'11. Uh, large fits up to six foot four, and XL fits up to six foot eight. So you do have that extra tall bag offered with this comfort bag, which is super nice. Again, this is a 700 fill duck down. It's RDS certified, and it is Okatex 100 standard as well. So that means all of your materials, all of the Everything that, that your skin is going to touch here is going to be that Okatex uh, certified or Okatex 100 standard and has, it's free of any chemicals or, or anything harmful known to, to your skin. So that's, that's awesome. You can check more about the, the Okatex certification. Uh, it's, it's very cool there. As far as the temperature ratings on this, this one is the 23 degree model. Uh, Exped gives you three different uh, ratings for each of the bags. Now this comes in three different temperature ratings, but this one being the 23 degree, that is what the comfort temperature is going to be for this bag, what they've rated it at. The lower limit is 14 degrees Fahrenheit and the extreme lower limit is minus 25 Fahrenheit. Obviously that extreme lower limit is gonna be a survival type situation and not uh, somewhere that you wanna be. So anticipate, uh, according to the ratings here, 23 degrees being about that the lower end of the comfortable range in this bag. So that's a rundown of the, the temperatures here. For me personally, this did really well and kept me warm uh, down to that 23, 24, 25 degree uh, temperatures. And then I started getting below that. I started getting a little bit of a chill. It wasn't too bad, but, but it did perform down to the, the expected comfort range for me personally. Now this bag is a little bit big. The fit isn't obviously real snug like a lot of mummy bags, so it's not as thermally efficient for somebody my size. I'm 5'11". Uh, this is the size medium. Um, and it's, it, it doesn't really hug you like a lot of the mummy bags. It gives you that lots of extra room to move around, but because of that, it's not as thermally efficient, uh, so you do have extra weight. Now, as far as the weights on these, uh, this 
the, the, the medium runs about 42 and a half ounces, whereas uh, if you go with the XL, it's just under 50 ounces. So you've got a, a, a reasonably lightweight bag. It is on the heavy side, but you you're obviously have a lot of extra material, a lot of extra down that you're that you have in a larger bag like this. And the down fill is just over 26 ounces of down, which is a ton of down for a sleeping bag. But obviously that extra weight, uh, that extra down equals extra weight. So you have uh, extra weight and it's a little bit larger stuff size because of that. Some more of the features here, as you can see, you've got horizontal baffles and they're about uh, four or five inches wide here. And that's all the way down from the top of the, of the bag to the bottom. You can see here, you do have very good loft in this bag. And you can especially see that in the foot box where you got a lot of extra size there in the foot box. So uh, that's really, really comfortable. Now on the top end of the bag here, I'll flip this around so you can see it a little bit better on the hood portion right here back um, you've got uh, a couple of different uh, adjustment points here uh, one being here there's two separate toggles right here and one controls the top of, of the hood here and one controls around the chin so if you wanted to only tighten the, the top down you can do that and you can see that's only going to tighten the top up here and then if you wanted to tighten around the chin you go ahead and do that like that so you can you can adjust that however you want. Now, now this is also made, they've got what they've called, or they put what they call a comfort hood on this. So it's large enough to where if you wanted to put a, a pillow in there, a smaller pillow, you could do that. And then just use this bottom toggle there to tighten it around your chin. It's gonna be extra comfortable that way. That way your pillow doesn't get away from you at night as well. So if I open up the bag here, I'll show you there is uh, a button here you got the draft collar on the bottom and then around the top right here um, it's it's substantial it's a nice draft collar um, i would like to see it have a little bit more filling in there i found it uh, while i was using it to to be just a little bit lacking as far as how much down is in that collar but it, it did its job it did a good job but i wish it had a little bit more as you can see here you've got a button as well on the top and bottom around the draft collar it's like some other bags out there but it allows you to really utilize uh, on this side right in here uh, this elastic draw cord which what that does that allows you to tighten this this uh, the draft collar around your neck so if this is buttoned up you can really tighten this down on the colder end of the spectrum right there you can really get that tightened right around your neck and shoulders to keep those drafts out uh, and it does do a good job that way but again i do wish there was a little more down in that collar so it made that a little bit easier so um, but it, it did do a good job. On the inside here, you do have also an accessory pocket. So if you have something like your phone or your contacts or something that you don't want to freeze, a little zippered pocket right there. Um, but a, a nice, uh, long, a nice uh, plush draft collar along the zipper here uh, to keep those drafts out. And then you also have a zipper guard to the material, which is really nice. I didn't have any snagging issues with the zipper on this. Um, I did want to point out one other thing on this as far as the way that this zipper is designed. I'll flip it over this way so you can see it a little bit better. Um, you can kind of see the way the zipper goes at a, at a bit of an angle here and then all the way along the bottom. Um, this allows this to, to loft really well, but then also allows that draft collar to stay in place. Um, and then it works really well if you're going to be uh, zipping this together with another bag. But as you can see here, that uh, the way that that goes right along the bottom allows this down to be, all of this down to be on top of you where it should be and helps keep you warm. Again, you do have a, just a ton of space inside this bag. So let's look at a couple of the other features here that the Comfort gives you that are that it, it's unique to this bag. I'll zip this back up to start. So if you wanted to, uh, to use this, you know, if you like to read or whatnot in your tent, you can unzip this side of the of the bag here and then button this right here and that allows you to have you know, put your arm out on this side so you can have one arm out to hold your book or whatnot and and this is the new 2020 model and with for the 2020 model they give you an inside zip here to be able to open up this side as well so you have two openings one on each side for your arms so if you wanted to you know, sip your coffee, read a book, do whatever you want to do that way. And it just allows you to have that extra either ventilation if you want to vent. If it's a warmer night, you don't need that, that extra 
the uh, extra warmth there, you can do that or use it for reading, that sort of thing. And that, that toggle allows you to use that on the outside or the inside, like a lot of the zippers do. So, so that's kind of cool. Uh, that's a, an option that the Xped built into this uh, that really made this a, a really versatile sleeping bag. Um, on this side, if we go ahead and unzip this all the way, another cool thing about this is is putting this into blanket mode, or they, what they call their blanket zip. So you can unzip this all the way here, and then that reveals the toggle for another zipper to completely unzip the foot box here so that you can open this up like a blanket. Now, this works really super well if you are on the upper end of the, uh, the temperature rating and it's not very cold out, and you just want to open this up and lay it over the top of you. Or, if it's especially warm, you could just take this one bag for two people and it's big enough to lay over two pads uh, very easily and use for two people. So that's another a really efficient way to use this because as we talked about, it's, it is a little bit heavier of a bag overall, but if, you, if you're on a warmer trip and you don't really need that extra warmth, unzip this thing and use it with two people and it works really well that way. So it gives you a lot of extra flexibility and then you can just go ahead and zip this back up if you're not wanting to do that and then zip it on the second zipper um, and then you'll be back into your full mummy bag mode and ready to go. So that's uh, one of the cool and unique features about this bag. Um, and so now I'm going to go ahead and stuff this in the stuff stack and show you how compact this gets when it's time to pack up camp. So here is the Exped Comfort sleeping bag all in its compression sack. This, this is an Exped compression sack. It's not the one that actually comes with the bag. When I've been testing this bag, it was before uh, this 2020 model was in production, so it didn't have the compression or the stuff stack that is included. So this is what, what I had to stuff it in, but as you can see, it does stuff down fairly small. Uh, a little on the big side for a backpacking sleeping bag, but really not too bad at all, especially given the extra comfort that you get out of this bag. One thing that is nice that, that comes with these Exped bags is you get a long-term storage uh, a mesh sack here. So it allows you to, to stuff that and store it up in your, your closet or wherever without taking up a ton of space if you don't have that to, to hang or whatnot. So it's nice that it comes with both your compression bag as well as a mesh long-term storage sack. A lot of them don't and I really do appreciate it when they come with both because it does help in storing that long-term. So that is the Exped Comfort. I'll put a link in the description for you so you can check it out for yourself. It's awesome and super comfortable bag. I really enjoyed using this bag so go check it out for yourself. Thanks for joining us here today. We'll see you next time. Yeah.